Hey planners, it's Shantae of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming a plan with me for the week of the 7th through the 13th of January and I'm using this kit from Jackson Pepper and this is her uh, New Year 2019 kit and I love this kit. I thought it was so perfect because last week was all about celebrating the new year and I felt like this kit was very, very party, very celebratory and this kit here is kind of, okay, we've had the party, now it's time to get serious and get started focusing in on the goals and the things I actually want to get accomplished for this year, which is kind of is perfect for this week because I go back to school on Tuesday. Technically, class starts Tuesday, but I'm going to start working on Monday. So this week jumps right into one of my primary goals, which is uh, working on getting my master's and then I have several other personal goals and things that I want to get accomplished this year. So we've got some full boxes and quarter boxes on this first page. On this page, we've got date covers, your uh, scallop checklist, page flex, some quarter boxes, circle icons, script, and then I love these headers here along with the church and family header that are printed on there. And then you've got some blank ones where you can add whatever script you want. You could add one of these scripts down here and uh, customize those headers or just use whatever scripts you have. On this page, we've got the bottom washi and cut washi. I love that she offers both printed and solid cut washi. That's something I always enjoy using in my kit. And this, I thought this was kind of the extender that you usually get in case you wanted to like extend this part of your bottom washi over into your um, sidebar, but this is actually cut to header size um, washi strips over in that corner. Then on this page, we've got our half boxes, some more of those headers with the really pretty font script, uh, and then the regular headers with more of a type script. And then down here, she made really good use of her um, paper of her sticker paper um, by putting down some header size stickers down at the bottom here so no wasted space in this kit which is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and where's my bottom washi because that's where I always start so we'll go ahead and get started planning with the bottom washi if you guys would like to see how I use this kit of course please just keep watching I'm gonna start by placing down the bottom washi and I didn't think about it till I already put it down and then I realized I should have whited out those lines at the bottom of the page because you can totally see them through the washi but that's okay it doesn't bother me too too much uh, once I've got that down I'm gonna move on to the date covers and so I'm using some date dots from Sheet Blossom Prints and they were perfect because they were circle shaped and it fit right into the little circle space on the date covers and then um, once I've got the date covers down, I'm going to put down my page flags from the kit. I always start my layouts by putting down bottom washi date covers and then moving on to the sidebar. With this kit, because I bought the mini kit, it didn't have a lot of the stickers that I use in my sidebar. So I know it's going to have to get creative. So moving on to the sidebar, I'm starting by widening out those lines for that box at the top so I can put down the full box from the kit without those lines showing through. And I'm using the one that says 2019 goals. Super cute. Then placing down a washi strip just to separate between that full box and the next section I'm going to create, which is where I'm going to mark down my discussion post for school. So I'm putting down this label and actually lifted that back up because I wanted to use a checklist. And this is a checklist from the kit that I cut down to four of those scallops uh, so that I could mark down the discussion posts and responses that I need to do so I can quickly track whether or not I've got the part of my homework done throughout the week. Then I'm going to put down another um, washi strip the script stickers that I'm using are from Nicole Hutch Designs, and I also found some deco stickers from GP Sticker Studio that match this kit, which was really awesome because this kind of pale gray and lavender that these colors of this kit were really hard for me to try to find colors that matched in my collection because it's pretty unique colors. So now moving on to the section where I track my dinner. That's where I usually use a weekly tracker and there wasn't one in this kit. So I'm using a Monday through Sunday sticker from Rose Color Days and I'm using the lines that are already printed on the sidebar and that way I'll use that to just create my own weekly tracker. Putting down another washi strip and then using a habit tracker 
from Artbox stickers because there wasn't one in the kit. Uh, and I'm taking a flower again from that same GP Sticker Studio deco sheet. And that was actually from one of her freebies that came um, like with my order. And I'm going to put that flower down. Um, I put flower by the Monday through Sunday tracker for my dinners and then one in the box for my Instagram post and then the Instagram post stickers from Sweet Tea Plans. Because of the unique colors of this kit, I did a lot of things kind of different than I typically would. I usually don't use headers, but on Monday I did use the work header from the kit. And I actually do kind of like the font that she used for that, so it was cute. I put down a bow clip sticker from Artbox Stickers to mark some things I needed to note down for work. Then moving to the bottom of the page, I am putting down one of the half boxes and a script sticker from Paper Panda. And I just want to mark um, some things I want to do to prep myself and get ready to go back to school the next day. Uh, then I'm placing down a full box above that. Now I'm going to go through and continue scattering my full boxes. On Tuesday, I put that one kind of towards the top. On Wednesday, I put the box all the way at the bottom. Thursday, at the top again. And, and so it goes as I scatter them along. What's interesting, and I've kind of noticed this about myself, is that I tend to put one of my favorite boxes from the kit always at the top on Thursday. Don't know why. Thursday's not particularly like a special day for me or anything, but... I usually will put my favorite box from the kit at the top on Thursday. Just a little something I've noticed about myself. <laughs> then I realized I forgot to put the dinner script in my sidebar. So I went back and put that down. And now I'm putting a calculator icon from Nicole Hutch Designs on Monday. And I'm going to use that to mark reviewing my weekly budget. Try to keep track of what I'm doing with my funds. And then I had this sampler. Uh, it was a freebie that came with my order from the Sticker Shop Co. And unfortunately, this shop is no longer open. But the colors of this sampler were this really beautiful pale gray, which was so perfect for this kit. And like I said, I was kind of struggling to find this color in my sticker stash. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, perfect. So I used the pin and put it down on that half box on Monday. And then I'm taking the little credit card, placing it at the top on Saturday and using a Paybills script from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark paying bills on Saturday morning, taking some white out to white out the lines towards the bottom of the column on Saturday. And I'm placing down this half box and I'm going to label this desktop computer on top of it. And I just thought that would be so cute for marking my homework assignment for the week. On Tuesday, I'm putting down a sticky note sticker from the sampler and just marking the new class that I'll be starting, layering a read script sticker from the kit and marking down the chapters that I need to read for the week. The kit did not come with a weekend banner, and so I'm using one of my Happy Planner sticker books and it had this lavender weekend banner in there, and I thought that would be a perfect match for this kit. So I'm putting down a couple of strips of washi from the kit just to give me kind of a base to set down the weekend banner. And once I've got that layered on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to add a flower from that GP Sticker Studio um, sampler that I was using earlier. Uh, just put that on the side and then lay down that weekend banner. And I thought that all came together really beautifully. I love using these flat lays from Taylor and Tucker to mark my planning for the week. Thursdays are my planning night. And then I used a plan script from the kit and just layered that on top of that flat lay. On Wednesday, I'm putting down a washi strip and then using one of the quarter boxes from the kit and an Instagram icon from Artbox stickers to mark my midweek post. On Sunday, I'm placing a bow mug sticker from Artbox stickers and just marking down some brunch. After my first week back at school, I knew I wasn't going to be playing a little bit of hooky from church that week because I'd be tired from doing homework the day before and just getting readjusted to school. Moving back to Tuesday, I'm putting down a to buy sticker. Artbox stickers had shown a sneak peek of her $2 Tuesday and I knew I was going to do some shopping and also that I wanted to do a PR post for that. So I wanted to mark that down for Tuesday. Then on Friday, I want to mark payday. So I'm putting down two washi strips and the dollar sign icon from the kit. And then this payday script is actually from uh, leftovers from an old kit I used actually last June. On Sunday, I know I want to make this plan with me video live. And so I'm using a washi strip from the kit and I put that down on Sunday. There's a YouTube play button 
icon in the kit so i'm going to layer that icon on top of the washi strip and just write plan with me live to remind myself to um, go ahead and post this video for sunday which means that on saturday down at the bottom i'm going to put down a checklist that i cut down to two and i want to make sure i mark finishing my editing and recording my voiceover so that i can actually post my video on sunday so i'm using the to do header um, along with that scallop checklist to mark that down I found a rug on Amazon that I wanted to buy to decorate my office and so I'm making a note on Friday to order that rug on the day I get paid and then I'm going to use these stickers from Nicole Hutch Designs and their discussion do stickers which uh, discussion posts are things you do when you are in school online and so I'm making a note on Wednesday and Sunday the day before my discussion posts are due uh, so my Discussion posts are due on Thursday, so I like to get them done on Wednesday. Replies are due Monday, so I like to make sure they're done by Sunday. Moving back to Monday, I'm taking a grocery shopping icon from an old GP sticker studio kit that I used, putting down a washi strip from the Jackson Pepper kit, and then layering that icon on top of it. I just wanted to make a note to pick up some healthy snacks to put at my desk I like having healthy snacks at my desk when I'm at work and then I'm going to felt some of my this my sidebar and um, make note of the discussion posts that I need to do throughout the week I work as a cash application specialist which is a pretty regular <laughs> desk job my job is pretty much the same Monday through Friday in standard hours so when I mark things for work in my planner it's typically to note when things are going to be different throughout my day or if there's something that I specifically need to make sure I focus on and get done that day that's kind of out of the norm I'll write that down in my planner so I'm putting down that laptop sticker from our box stickers to make note of some things I don't want to forget and then the most exciting thing that happened that week, underneath the art box stickers, $2 Tuesday, I made a note of my first collab, uh, which was some headers that I designed for art box stickers, which is really exciting. Underneath that, I'm putting down a washi strip and using a kettlebell from GP Sticker Studio. And I'm just going to um, layer the kettlebell with a script sticker that says work out. And that script sticker is from Paper Panda. Above the workout sticker, I want to mark loading the dishwasher. So I'm going to use the cutlery icon from the kit and I'm going to put that down and just make a note that says load the dishwasher. I was introduced to a new podcast by Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans and she was listening to this podcast and recommended it. So I was like, okay, I definitely want to check that out. And the podcast is called This Podcast Will Kill You. It's actually really amazing. I highly recommend it. Uh, but I marked that down with a podcast icon from Moonlit Paper Company on Wednesday. And then moving over to Friday, I put down a half box. I wanted to make a note my parents are going to be going out of town. And so I wanted to place down a reminder for myself. That reminder script is also from Paper Panda. And I... Just wanted to put that down in the box so that way I did not forget. Moving back to Wednesday, I'm going to place down another half box. And you'll see that um, these half boxes are printed. And so I have the printed side on Wednesday facing the opposite direction from the printed half box that I used on Monday. Just to give it a little bit of variety. And I'm just making a note of some things I needed to take care of for work in that half box. Underneath the half box, I'm going to create a checklist for myself using a to-do header from the kit and cutting down one of the checklists into two. And that way I could just make some notes. And then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this butterfly. I knew I wanted it down as just a little decorative detail. I thought I was going to add flowers to it. And then I peeled up the flowers and decided the butterfly by itself was perfect. And that was from a deco sheet from QT Planner Co. And I loved kind of just the clean simplicity of just having that butterfly there. Moving to Thursday, I'm placing down a washi strip and I want to mark that it is trash day. And so I'm taking a script from a QT Planner Co. This is her uh, phrases and icons sheet. Um, and I it has a trash can on there, but I felt like that black trash can would have been too overwhelming on all of the light colors on this page. So I used a trash can from a leftover kit uh, along with that script that said trash day. And then... I wanted to make note because I wanted to get some studying done on my lunch break so I'm going to use a half box and layer this 
cute little pencil case sticker that I got from GP Sticker Studio and I think it's just adorable and the color was so perfect such a great match for this kit and I'm just making a note to study on my lunch break so in between trash day and studying I decided to make a note my mother-in-law is going to be turning 60 this year so I wanted to, um, to get together with my family and get started planning what we wanted to do for her birthday for this year and then down towards the bottom of Thursday I'm making a note with a quarter box and that both sticker came on a freebie that I got from um, Arctic Paper Studio and I'm just making a note to film and edit then on Friday, I'm putting down a bank run icon, and that is from the Sticker Shop Co. And I'm just making a note to go to the bank before work. Knowing that I was going to be tired after adjusting to being back in school, I knew the only thing I would want to do on Friday would be to just relax. So I'm taking a TV icon from Sticker Bloom, and that Netflix script is from um, the Paper Panda um, Marble Variety Words word sampler I think is what that sh uh, the script word sheet is called and I've just made a note to get some takeout and relax with my husband whose name is Brandon which is why that says take out with B I'm just gonna hang out with with B who's my husband um and then I decided to add a little heart to the TV and I found a little heart sticker that was the perfect color match in that happy planner sticker book so I put that down moving back up to the top of Friday I'm putting down a quarter box and I'm gonna first layer a reminder sticker over it and then I realized I had another reminder right underneath it so I'm gonna change that to a to-do sticker later um, but it just is making a note to pay the gardener Moving on to Sunday, I'm taking one of the washi strips and actually cutting it into a page flag. And I'm going to put that down underneath the weekend banner and then going to use one of the Me Time stickers from GP Sticker Studio. And I love that it's like this cute, relaxing little bathtub. And I just thought that was adorable. And then above the weekend banner, I'm putting down a washi strip. And I really wanted to use this candle. It's come from a sampler sheet from Sweet Tea Plans. And it looks just like the Bath and Body Works three wick candles. And I'm actually using that to mark laundry and candles have nothing to do with laundry. But the candle was cute and I really wanted to use it and so I used that as the icon next to the laundry script that I wanted to get done on Sunday and then back on Friday I'm putting down a little nail polish bottle and that's from art box stickers and making a note to paint my nails and then on Sunday I wanted to make a note to clean out my closet for a clothing donation that was happening at my church and so I wanted to get myself ready for that so here's the completed spread for the week. I'm so happy with how this came out. I'm really in love with the colors in this kit. So unlike anything I've used before, um, this kind of palish gray color palette just really made this week really exciting to plan with. And here's everything I have left over from the kit. Um, so I have quite a bit of these checklists because I don't use very many of those. Um, a few icons, some of the scripts which are super beautiful and I'll definitely want to pull those into some other layouts. A couple of quarter boxes used is a decent amount of the washi actually. Um, all of the full boxes, some of the washi there, some more of these quarter boxes. There were so many included in the kit, which I really appreciated. I actually used some of the headers in this text, and I think that's definitely a testament to the color palette of this kit because it was as um, it was pretty tricky trying to figure out what to pull into this kit because I don't have a lot of things. Um, sort of in this color family and I really wanted to keep this kit very clean um, because I just loved the look of it so I didn't want to pull in a, a kind of a pop of color that would take this in another direction um, and so and I also didn't want to bring in even too much black um, I really just wanted this to stay very very soft so um, I did pull in some of the um, actual headers, um, lots of the half boxes got used um, and things on this page. So that's one of the reasons why I do really enjoy getting mini kits because I feel like when I'm done, I've used up a decent amount of the kit and what's left over is not too many things. Um, but I'm glad I have these leftovers. I love these quarter boxes. We'll so definitely be pulling those into future spreads as needed. And um, I think 
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I'll talk to you soon.